after the break, they explore the fabric distributor. Uh, some shenanigans ensue, and they find some strange magical things. Specifically, this thing called brimstone that used to uh, be the thing that would cause... Uh, B cities and things to be lifted up in the air. Some more shenanigans happen with Fern because she, instead of just being outside, decides to go in and have some fun. And after all this happens, after they do some detect thoughts, some things where they're trying to figure out what's going on through uh, just exploring, investigating, talking, and also yeah, detecting thoughts, from a few of the workers there, they decide to leave and then they plan on doing their breaking and entering to get back inside the uh, fabric distributor because they actually did find you know some stuff that could uh, lead them towards the thefts. So they come back at that night and they, they make a plan to have a backdoor team, a front full frontal team and then Aurum is going to be turned invisible and be sent in. So uh, just as the manager or boss of this fabric distributor decides to leave Aurum invisible is able to sneak right in and uh, they shut off all the lights in there so it's completely dark, Aurum is invisible and then um, <laughs> uh, Ladna and Lada, who's a very creepy character, and Fresh Cut Grass are both sending him messages. Well, I will cast a message inside the building. <gasps> you can do that too? Nice. Yeah, except that. mine's slightly different. Uh, uh, you'll, Orm, you'll just get a, a feeling of curiosity from, from your good old pal Fresh Cut Grass. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> this is the, you basically feel like you're being watched. Then is that, that yeah. like suddenly you're in the dark, That's feeling the like you've been watched? Feeling. I send a message to Orem. Better. <laughs> Orem. <laughs> are you? Are you well? Are you well? <laughs> Are you well? Are you well? Yes. Is it fun? It's fun. Is it fun? Is it fun? Less and less, oh. Less and less, I'm going to help her. Do you need assistance? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm locked inside and I can't see shit. But um, I, uh, I think this is the plan still. And don't worry, Dorian and Belle, uh, and Imogen are out front, so they've got me covered. Oh, he's totally out of the loop. It's quite adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Through all of this, uh, the manager leaves, Orm is in there. They decide to split the party because that's, you know, that's always the right thing to do. Uh, some follow the manager of the fabric distributor and others stay at the warehouse with Orm. And that is where the session ended. Everybody's feeling a lot of anxiety and uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes because this group is, is very fun. Uh, I For me, at least, I think it is the joy of seeing the original cast of Critical Role back together again. It's always so fun because they're such good friends and and Robbie brings some good stuff to the group that I I think uh, I think works out. I don't know if he is just a special guest for a little while or if he is staying for the whole game. Either way, I'm happy because I think it'll be fun for them to bring in guests and other characters and stuff. So anyway, that's campaign two uh, or campaign three episode two. Uh, go watch it. Link in the description below. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. More campaign uh, three critical content kind of mine up. Look at my other stuff. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week.